Brand new Southeast connector is already popular with drivers going between Sparks and South Reno, but the 45 mile per hour speed limit hasn't been quite as popular. Ariana Bennett joins us now live on the Southeast connector and Ari, there's a lot of speeding. Yep, we spoke to the Reno police about this today. They say there is rampant speeding on this new road. They say upwards of 70 miles per hour. Now, obviously, that is well above the posted 45 mile an hour limit. Now, the police say they're trying to be lenient at first since it is a new road, but they say that won't last forever. The most important thing for us to do is to educate the public on how to properly drive within the speed limit and in a safe manner as they go down this new section of roadway. Uh, but there comes a point when uh, warnings only go so far. Now the speed limit is 45 miles an hour for the whole five and a half mile stretch of the Southeast Connector. And there are a lot of reasons for that. RTC officials say it's a continuation of Veterans Parkway, which was already 45 miles an hour. But they also did traffic and environmental studies to find a speed that would keep drivers, cyclists and pedestrians safe and also slow traffic a little bit just in case animals from the nearby wetlands try to cross the road. This is not a highway. We're not treating it like a highway. It's a parkway and the speed limit is 45 miles an hour. Our number one priority is safety. And so that was determined as the safest speed limit for this road. And she says there are no plans to change that speed limit. Covering the story live, Ariana Bennett, Channel 2 News. All right.